you want to open your door mm. I'm feeling kind of lost when your mind is hiding Whatever that is choking your chest I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking Cause you're holding it Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I have another clean with me. Um, me and the kids have been sick for the last few days so the house has kind of went downhill. Just not had the energy to do it. I've actually got tonsillitis and baby Jacob has a chest infection so that was fun. So I'm basically starting out in the living room today. I'm just going to like organise this little cupboard. This is like kind of where I keep their puzzles and little toys that basically if they lose them they wouldn't be able to play like that certain puzzle kind of thing so it's in here it's got a lock on here and look their pens and pencils because if I leave them out they go a bit crazy with it as you'll see when I get to their room they literally went crazy with some pens while I was busy with the baby so how's everyone getting on if you've enjoyed the Easter break like I'm not gonna lie I can't wait for Jaden to go back to school and for Holly to go back to nursery like it's been absolutely hectic I actually love when they're home but Lately, oh, the last kind of day or two, it's just been a bit much. Like, it's they're just so full of energy. Like, that's including the teenager. I really think that they need to give me some of that energy because I am really struggling. I am on that struggle bus to tidy this house every day. I just feel like there's just, it's never ever tidy. There's, I just think my house is just too small for us now. We live in a three bedroom. It's basically a flat, but with like a main door, and it's just far too small for us now. Obviously, having four kids when we moved in here, we did we didn't think we we're having any more kids, and then obviously baby Jacob came along. So yeah, we're just totally outgrown this house. So I really hope that we move. Basically, it's in the next year or two. Like I would love to move before Holly starts school next year, but I don't know if that's possible. But yeah, it's just far too small for us now. But anyway, like I said, starting off in the living room, sorting out this little cupboard and just giving it a general tidy. But it didn't last long, as you'll see at the end of the clip, because Sean came home with that, like, ball pit and the balls. And, like, yeah, so it was messed within literally five minutes of me tidying up, so. Selling pencils from a cup Big man giving out orders Turns to us, says, listen up Won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine. Yes, I ran out of town. There's no hope for me. I fell down the bottom. So I fell down way deep. But if I can't have the real, you can let me make a 3D print.
of you, of you All my friends keep on saying that I'm better off alone They don't know what it feels like but I do So you faded out while I watched it down Obsessed with myself Wanna hit the reverse and what's broken Can we be strangers up inside fresh like a morning? What's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine, yes I ran out of town There's no hope for me I fell down the bottom So I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you then let me make a 3D print So I miss my talk yeah. It's a time to move on But I cannot I shoot in the dark So I miss my talk yeah. It's a time to move on You know so I So why won't you follow Why won't you follow me home I know I can't make you mind You're so out of time There's no hope for me I fell down the bottom So I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real I'm not the only person that does this. I literally rearrange my furniture like at least once a week. I don't know why. Is is that normal? Is it not normal? I don't know. But this room is just like it drives me absolutely crazy. I don't know. I just don't like it. I just like the way that I don't know. There's something about it. But there's also a little bit of damp in this room at this um where the girls' beds are just now. So it's at the other side. And I noticed a bit on their chest of drawers and that just kind of gave me the fear of God. So I like, literally cleaned it all down, used that mould and spray, whatever it's called, from um, Home Bargain. No, b &M. It's really, really great. And I've moved, just basically moved the girls' beds back to the other side because that's originally where it was, where they were. So yeah, I prefer it over there. But I don't know, no matter what I do with this room, it just never looks, it never looks... I don't know, it never looks that good. It's probably just because it's just full of toys and that was obviously to be expected with having kids. But I don't know, there's just something missing. Does anybody know what that thing that's missing? But yeah, Millie's doing really well on her bed. Uh, I took the sides down, so I've said that in a previous video. So she's doing really well. So hopefully we're getting her her own little bed soon. I'm going to give baby Jacob her cot. And yeah, I just, I feel like it needs a little revamp in this room. We recently done the wall, put the wallpaper up but the other walls were all green when we moved in. I do actually quite like the green, but I do feel like it needs a little bit of a uh, freshen up. And yeah, I just feel there's something missing. I'm not sure what. Sometimes I make this life thing harder than it needs to be. So why do I worry about what I can see? I was racing by money for my room. 
anyone else's kids just literally follow them around everywhere when they're trying to do something even when their dad is literally right there in the other room like what is that all about 
but anyway we're coming to the end of the video and I really hope that you enjoyed this one it was kind of spur of the moment I went in to just quickly tidy the girls room and I ended up rearranging everything and if you can hear anything I have baby Jacob right next to me as always but yeah please subscribe if you haven't already and if you have thank you so so much I really really appreciate it and I will see you all in my next one bye I wanna cry.